this is PlayStation Home. And I didn't really know what this was because I didn't have a PS3 for the longest time. But apparently, it's like kind of a second life thing that Sony officially made. And um, we're going to explore some empty worlds. This is one of those things that's kind of like when I explored worlds.com a little bit, but much more <laughs> professional, much further along because this was released in 2008 it was shut down and um what oh my character he's pretty cool right so yeah we'll be playing the offline version because i just want to explore some of the worlds and see some stuff there's some really weird stuff in here and um this was sent to me by a chat member and essentially they just sent me the build and again, I learned a little bit about it. I don't know too much, but I think it's phenomenal that the community has come together to, um, you know, preserve this stuff. It, game preservation is so important and this is all shut down. So the fact that this still is playable and you get to like go around and look at some of these worlds is I think very interesting. So uh, thank you for making this possible, whoever you are out there that has done this. And also thank you, chat member, for, su for submitting this. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take a look at some of these empty worlds. And my goal for today, because I'm playing this on New Year's Eve, we have an hour to find the best world to spend in New Year's Eve, like for when the clock switches over to midnight. Before we do that, though, I will show you. Um, now, these stores are unfortunately inaccessible, even apparently in the online edition, I think. But you can like still download some of the things. But there was actually an official like Star Wars store. So this is actually a virtual dead mall. Oh, you can run. I'm not sure if I'm running right now. Um, I had to learn some of this stuff earlier. What the hell is this? No, I don't know what that is. There's all this weird stuff that was put in this game. So this ran, I think this was shut down sometime in 2015 or 16. Hot Dog Companion. Huh. And uh, I will show you various character models. There's um, a lot of advertising in this. Some people spent apparently a long time playing this game. And, um, you know, then they shut it down, which is why it's so good that this kind of thing is preserved. It's true. Okay, now I'm a little faster. That's good. loot um there's like stuff for dead space in here there's a lot of like playstation crossovers like you'd be surprised at some of the um major things that are in here now to me this is interesting because it's like that, that whole like dead world thing that i used to do because there's these places that people have spent hours of their lives in and it's a very potent thing it's like when i grew up i played a lot of Super Nintendo games, that kind of stuff. I'm glad I can revisit. But if I spent a lot of time in something like this and then they just shut it down, you know, that would suck. So it's very nostalgic for some people, I would imagine. Um, there's like mini games here, I guess. Uh, all right, that's kind of weird. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to be able to see everything this game has to offer tonight. I'll turn down the game volume a little bit. There may be some DMCA scares. I'm not sure. So again, we're going to um, look around. So here's how you do it. There's a navigator. There's a number of worlds. 
that you can just uh, just pop into. And in its heyday, I would assume people would be online just chatting. Um, you'd have to type with a controller, I think. But yeah, now a lot of these worlds are just still preserved by the community. And uh, you could use a keyboard. Okay, so you could use a keyboard. Like at attachments and stuff. Salt shooter? I'm not 100% looking to play a ton of mini games. I kind of mainly just want to see all the worlds and from what I understand these are really really well optimized and are like some of these worlds are like 25 megabytes and have a ton of stuff in them wow Okay. Yeah, look at that. Just full ass games here in PlayStation Home. And the controls aren't bad either. Like, it's very, very playable. But yeah, I think it's like a less crusty, less less boob and cock version of Second Life, I think. Look at your feet. Oh, I, I know what my character's feet look like. I chose them. So there's a kill zone lobby. Um, Christmas winter edition. So again, my plan is to, oh God. My plan is to find the best world to ring in the new year. So, take a look at this. Here's, here's why I look like this. Um, so, yes, there are a number of things. I, I was also sent a pack of, like, downloadable uh, things here. And you can change... You know, all that stuff. But then clothing. So like hands, right? You could do that. You could do that. Terminator 2, for some reason. Guns, a bat, fish with paws, lightsabers, money briefcase, green scarf. And this isn't everything. This is like a... I think a decent amount, but it's not quite everything. There's also full outfits. I'd like to apologize for the white flashing there because I don't know how to turn that off. Yep, Ryu is here. There's all these crossovers like Escape from Monkey Island. There's this Bloons Crust Man. Urban Camo. Nathan Crust Drake. Statue, Gorilla, Call of Duty. There's like Guy Fieri outfits, infamous Top Gun dress uniform. Why is there Top Gun crossover? Robert Patrick from Terminator 2. Skinny Vinny, the skeleton. I see. More Top Gun stuff. There's Banana... There's uh, another skeleton fellow. There's um, Dead Island stuff here. I mean, this is really interesting stuff that is just... Th this <laughs> looks awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. These Bloons characters are horrendous. There's like noodles. Um, apparently... Hang on. I want to try something here. I've, I've been told that there's some... Potentially other interesting things here if I uh, do this. Where is it? There's like an 
an anime face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, and, uh, the, oh, okay. She doesn't have hand feet. But there are hand feet. Sugoi. Th that's the real Hatsune Miku right there. Uh, wait a minute. Was there a sensor bar? Someone said there was a sensor bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's oh, God. I don't think I want to tempt fate. So, yeah, probably not going to keep that going for too long there. Um, Diablo 3 hoodie. Just put her in a hot tub. Chat member, stop being right. <laughs> There's something... This is a weird character. I don't know... How do I feel about this? I mean, there's definitely Christmas happening here. What about the full outfits? Well, we don't have to spend too much time on this, but yeah, there's probably a lot of interesting outfits. Let's see. Um... Jesse costume balloon. Uh, okay, I chat. It's hideous. Seductive witch. Vanil vanilla costume. Is that from Final Fantasy? One of the Final Fantasies. Leia outfit. Sailor style. Subway. T what the fuck? Subway. Subway sandwich? You passed a Ford logo? Okay. So another world that I'd like to show you before we just randomly world hop is um, there's a couple strange things. Which one was it? Uh, one of these worlds has some interesting things that you can see and some strange translations. Could people make their own worlds? Yeah, if you're a, a, a multi-million dollar company. So apparently there's been a, a number of corruptions, not like the corruptions I do, but just like over time, some of the data became corrupted, which is why you're seeing this look like this. But um, this world I was told to check out because of like, wait, was it this one? It might not be this one. I'm not sure. Be aggressive, go team, fight team. Introducing the Sexy Bartender series from Granzella for PlayStation Home. The Sexy Bartender is a new face in the Bartender series. Sexy outfits and friendly, flirty attitude is sure to keep her tips high. Other sexy tops, bottoms, and heels are available, as well as a lineup of attractive, natural hairstyles. With looks like that, Maybe she's the reason business is thriving. This is all Sony approved, by the way. Sony was loving this shit. They, they love it. <laughs> they really love it. So, yeah. Uh, again, not 100% sure what this world is supposed to be. And a lot of it is, in fact, corrupted, but there's, like, weird, uncanny valley, like, 
PS3 model like bikini women here. So there's a, a lot of that. There's also JPEGs or rather just like cutouts of people that aren't actually moving. No, totally normal and creepy. Definitely won't randomly be one person online that will, um, you know, say, are you lost traveler? Nothing like that. So that leads me to maybe some more of these maps. Like this Granzella stuff. I'm not really sure. That, no, this is 10 years ago. There's various event nights. Um, there's like holidays that they apparently have done. And again, I, I learned all of this today. I had no idea this existed. And um, well, it exists. Entry store, which you cannot do. But um, yeah, apparently, again, these are very well optimized worlds. This is not Call of Duty modern game, which will in, in fact fill your hard drive like almost completely. There's like nothing there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, again, this is Sony's answer to Second Life, I think. I think that was what the attempt was. Mononoke race, Secret Empire. It had to be optimized so the PS3's weak network chip could download stuff fast. Weird noise. Congratulations? Why does it just say congratulations? Um, something involving a ticket. I, I don't know how much of this isn't working. Very strange. And this is all just Granzella. Whatever Granzella is, I don't know. But there's also Square Enix, Capcom, Konami all have worlds here. Yeah, when you're here, like, alone, it creates an entirely different kind of feeling. There's not really anything else to do here, as far as I can tell. Vinny, there's someone in the window? Oh yeah, there's a couple people in the windows. Jet skis. Wait, is this like a jet ski mini game? Um, yeah, there's a chance that I'm I'm not doing some things correctly, or there's a chance some of this was corrupted or just no longer works, or you have to be online, or again, this is still at the end of the day, 
not on actual PS3 hardware. So that could always screw it. A priest? What? Meanwhile, here's my Subway sandwich. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to get a nice, delicious sandwich. $5 foot long, which are no longer $5. The Eve Android. Well, that's weird. That is very, very weird. People got virtually married here. All right. Um, so Hudson has some stuff. They have like Bomberman stuff. Konami's got some some stuff. Konami Penthouse. Again, so I have forty minutes to find the, the optimal place to hang out for New Year's Eve chat. DMCA? Is there anything here that is distinctly Konami or is this just like generic loft? I'm gonna say maybe some advertisements. Yeah, there's just advertisements. East Walker. Metal Gear Salt, yeah, Peace Walkers over there. I don't think we want to spend New Year's Eve over here. Um, there's like, you know, there's emotes and shit too. Let's see. Personal. So I think there's emo. What, what is this? Bacon? Huh? Just a slice of bacon. It's just gonna be okay. I see. Really getting a view of that metallic gooch. The music. Whoa! The fuck? There's another Konami Club. Who's you? There's Lucas Arts Star Wars Cantina. If it plays the Cantina music, I have to mute it because that gets claimed instantly. Beware the tragedy of Darth Blake is the wise. First thing you see is Palpatine. You're in for a treat. Anyway, let me take my gold person, or sorry, my silver person on balloons through the Star Wars cantina. <laughs> wow. I mean, they're we get some ambience, maybe some aliens, like the aliens from A New Hope. You know, like the weird hammerhead dude or the devil or the fucking jizz whalers. Not even a jizz whaler chat. That's a shame. I think it's corrupted. I guess I have to be the Star Wars. Okay, now <laughs> now this is standard Star Wars. This is <laughs> 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 
the absurdity of what's happening. Hang on, there's a back room? Wait, what? Th this was behind the cantina the whole time? Oh. Well, that explains a whole lot. This is your default player apartment. Oh, okay. You could place furniture here. I don't know if I... Let's see, do I have... Dr. Pepper. Gonk. Gonk. Yeah, there's just a fucking Dr. Pepper machine. This is just, again, this whole thing is just advertisements. I'm sure there's a lot to enjoy regardless, but from my, my limited experience with this so far, it's just ads on top of ads on top of ads. Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed, World, Far Cry 2. Jeez, Far Cry 2. There's a whole mini game area here if you want to just do mini games and there's Batman, Bonks, Capcom, but we, we need to keep, there's Halloween. It's plenty of Halloween. Uh, winter. So we have about 40 minutes or so before midnight, before the, the, the new year rings in. And I'm not going to do it in a Christmas world with non-standard Christmas jingle bells. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm just not going to. There's bowling. I mean, it's fine. Um, I want to kind of, hang on, let me go back to, someone said there was a solid snake that you can be. I might not have the solid snake outfit because um, some of the, the files did not install properly. There, there's Call of Duty, man. And uh, Pyramid Head, which is... I guess we could be Pyramid Head. There is a thick boss. Excuse me, what is this? I guess I'll never know because I have Dr. Pepper on top of me. equipped a fart machine of some kind. I have no idea how to fart. Don't take that out of context. Yep. Hang on, let me just get Johnny a good thumbnail. Or good potential thumbnail. Like, maybe something to have as well. Just options. You know, options are good. Johnny likes options. Um, there's more winter editions. I guess they did Christmas themes, like, every year. Killzone Mercenary. Nothing says Christmas like Killzone Mercenary. A toilet.
Billabong. Oh, we're going into the mall. Again, none of these stores work, but I guess they have actual, like, they licensed actual fucking brands to uh, get their clothing in the game so you could sp spend real money on it, which is awesome. Really cool. Still haven't found the world I want to spend New Year's Eve. Vinny, be stupid. Dare to be stupid. Wait, Santa is here. I want to find Santa. Sant. Vinny, please check out this character's feet. I know. I set the characters. That That is my choice. I chose the feet to be that way. Ah, uh, Santa's unavailable. All right, that's a shame. All right. Um, okay, there's a 4th of July thing here with fireworks. Now, I'd prefer if it was more wintry. Ah. Uh, That's a shame. Nope, doesn't work. All right, no problem. We try again. All right, no worries. We still have time. If nothing else fails, go to the bowling alley. There you go. All right. Let's see, chat. Let us see. Um, I'm going to go back down here. So uh, we can't get 4th of July edition, which would have been good for fireworks. But we also have um, there's Thanksgiving. There's winter. There's got to be a New Year's Eve world somewhere. Audi Terminal. Iron Man. Dreams Aurora. Those are that's weird. What what the hell is this? This is like this looks like something from like Mist from the nineties. Find a Times Square world. Uh, it's cool. Like, it's, you know, it, well done. Whoa. But still not New Year's Eve enough. Burn, Zombie, Burn, Capcom Sky Lounge. Just real quick, check out the Capcom Lounge. Also, the run feature is kind of weird. You equip it as an item and then you can run faster. Strange. Well, Capcom put a lot of effort into this world, too, just to make this 
have some like life and color. It's cool. But uh, that said, I don't think most of it is going to like be anything. And I don't see Mega Man. It's also, yeah, there's the stars badge, I think. Or like some kind of Resident Evil badge, maybe. I'm not sure, but all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Sky Lounge, Sky Lounge, Sky Lounge, Sky Deck. Clear a silk cart racing. Wait, what? I have to get out of this mankini. I'm sorry, Chad. I don't want this anymore. I'm sick of it. Urban camo. There's like an old suit. <laughs> These balloons people are just something else. Snake looking kind of thick. So anyway, this is a Clearasil. So Solid Snake is in Clearasil High School. Okay. It also does not seem to work, but we get a little bit of it. I, I don't know. Conspiracy, Crystal, Seashores, Open House, Cutthroats, Dead Nation, Safe House, Yacht Club, a yacht, Douglas. I own my own yacht. E3 2011 Expo Hall. This is not Solid Snake. This is Big Boss. Or some kind of boss. Wow. Wow. Well, with E3 dead and gone, you can relive it here, I guess. But only the Sony portion. No no other part of E3 exists. Only PlayStation and Sony. Sorry. But yeah, I guess this is what it looked like in 2011. That's wild. Probably some, oh, this goes back here. There's probably some videos. Event theater. Oh, man, it's a shame you couldn't see the giant enemy crab. Maybe they broadcast some of the E3 stuff from here and you and your homies could just like stand around typing emotes and riding bacon and watching E3 together. That's probably what this was. And there's also some more stuff. EA Sports Complex. <laughs> Pass. Elemental Monster Lounge. I'll tell you what. After we find a good New Year's world and then the, you know, the new year has come and gone, we will um, event night edition. Um, then we'll just go through some other random shit for like a half hour. Just whatever random worlds I find. Guitar, okay, Guitar Hero Backstage. Wow. In the style of Guitar Hero, that actually is kind of fucking cool. Who's this guy? Gorm Jormley. Doesn't doesn't really work, I don't think. I'm good. I'm I'm only playing the offline version of this. Thank you though. Douglas Gilmore. There was a countdown, I assume it would have started. Probably would have sucked. <laughs> Guitar Hero VIP access. Ah. Uh. V 
VIP. Oh, you can just get there anyway. Plenty of, of that. Homegrown laboratory. There's the Hudson stuff. Infinite Oasis Ranch. Here's another version of this stuff. Boss, you're going to go and play gotchas? Yeah, I am gotchas. Yeah, motherfucker. Amazing. Who's this guy? Is that security? Vinny the Skeleton. This is literally Vinny the Skeleton. Skinny Vinny the Skeleton. I have to I have to play as the skeleton. There are bikes in the way. I can go no further. Strange. All right. Um let's keep it moving. Oh, New Year. IREM Seaside New Year Night. Okay, are there fireworks? Yeah, I mean, hey, this is New Year's from 2012, but it's it's something. It's weird because we're spending the new year together alone as I alone am a skeleton in a new year world from 2012. Also, perhaps about to attend mass or something. And there's a UFO in the sky as well. Very strange. Um, yeah, I don't know, chat. This is kind of weird because... Um, There's no fireworks. Vinny, I'm watching you with my whole family. I'm sorry, family. Uh, you don't need to be watching this. This isn't that interesting for New Year's. There's probably like Douglas, um, what's his name? Uh, famous celebrity Douglas on TV right now singing some pop songs. Oh, Drake, not Douglas, Drake. I thought his name was Douglas. He's probably on, to, like, in Times Square in a diaper right now. It's about to explode, but he's singing his hit song, Ain't Nobody Got Nobody. And uh, that's probably happening. And, and the other one, too, um, uh, Scrooge. Scrooge is probably on stage. It's probably really fun. Okay, so this is maybe something I could do. We could go here if I don't find a better one. There's a New Year map. No fireworks. Fireworks would be preferable. I don't know if there's any fireworks available. We're going to look around and see. Um, this one's just got fire, but no works. There's an indie world. What does that mean, indie world? 20 minutes. In Indiana Jones. Really? Cave explorers? There's a UFO. There's a killer plants from outer space. Never mind.
it is game. This is all well and good, and I'm curious about it, but I still have to find a New Year world. So, sorry, Killer Clan uh, Plants. Did you say Gray Leno is on NBC right now? Bringing in the New Year? That's really cool. Men in Black Headquarters. Oh, even they got in on this. There's a little big planet world. I saw that. Nightlife Lounge. It's weird hearing ambient bar noises, but absolutely nobody is in here except a skeleton. With no reflection. Okay, now I have to figure out how to dance. It's the R1 button. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Let's continue. No Man's Land. Oh, I thought that said No Man's Sky. I was going to say, what the fuck? They predicted it. Paradise on a Blue Whale. This could be an unorthodox place to celebrate New Year's. Spending New Year's in the Overlook Hotel as a skeleton. That could be fun. <laughs> I think that was the whale's blowhole. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. I mean, hey, this is one way to do New Year's, right? You, you can... The fact that it's actually called that. Yes, it is, chat. Joined swim. Oh. This should be ported over to VR chat. Exit swim. Just like real life. Peak Vox Labs, Peak Vox Ninja Lounge Upper. It's not as good as Red Vox, but Peak Vox is all right too. Event space, PlayStation Network, Mini Lounge, Private Members Club. Oh, well, yes. Probably sold that for a decent amount. Ratchet and Clank Firing Range. There's a bunch of Ratchet and Clank things. Red Bull Hub. Resident Evil 5 Corner. Resident Evil 5 Studio Lot. Street Fighter 4. Action District PS4 version. Central Plaza. Dead Island Edition. There's the mall. We found that earlier. We were there for a bit. Man, the one place with fireworks doesn't work. Just overlay fireworks. <laughs> Bowling 
Bowling alley. I mean, yeah, if all else fails, bowling alley. How many more are there? Okay, there's all the sodium ones. There's casinos. There, there's a lot. Okay. Okay, we're going to look. Kingdom dance floor. VIP club. Oh, club. Is there a Sopranos one? There is Gabagool. It's like really quiet here. Wait, but there's people dancing. Hang on. They're not real people, but we can dance with them maybe. Just totally quiet. Wait. I thought that... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's how you get down here. All right. Anything? Music? No? Nothing? Nope. All right. 13 minutes to find a New Year's Eve world. Yetis versus Hunters. Yekland. Ghost Maze. Put on the Crab Rave music. Oh, I could. I could definitely do that. Some winter stuff. Which again, winter is always Christmas. So we're never going to... I mean, we, we got to get away from Christmas. You know, Mariah Carey has been put back in her ice cube so we don't need more Christmas the midnight glade it's pretty good the playground is New York at night the godfather see that's close to Sopranos well hang on a minute the playground you say Midnight Glade had fireworks back in the day. Description for Midnight Glade. All right, let's check it out. And then I'll try the playground, which I don't even know if we can find because... All right, we'll find. We'll try to find it, but Midnight Glade. Mini bots. Where do you see Midnight Glade chat? Oh, the Midnight Glade. All oh, right, okay. That was the one I was at before. Yeah, dumb. I got it. I actually hear fireworks in real life. The Midnight Glade. Pyrotechnic display against the dark sky. Hmm. I don't think there's any fireworks here anymore, chat. Just green screen fireworks. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up doing that. Hang on. It's just, yeah, things are just kind of unsettling here. I, I got to do this before the ball in New York City drops and a bunch of piss like comes out and then I, I'm going to like, you know, lose my internet connection. 
Someone said the playground is New York City at night. That could work. It's like Tony Hawk 2 version of New York City. Check out Indie World. Saw a rat at the Bryant Park Christmas Market. Chat member, you act as if that's not a normal occurrence. Chat, this will do just fine. This will do just fine. However, very quickly, Indie World. We've got eight minutes. Oh God, that's a lot of scrolling one must do. I don't see it. What's it called? SCE Indie World. Oh. Dead Island, CEA, Indie Park. Okay. Wait, what? Who are these people? IGN. Colin, hmm. last night. What? Terraria? I mean, it makes sense. It's indie games, but. Activity is cu currently unavailable. Gnome curling? Ah, uh, yes, Terraria and Gnome Curling, the two indie games. Colin Robinson. Well, chat, I don't see fireworks here either, so we're going to go back. Maybe I'm missing some, but it's been a hell of a year. It has had its ups for me, a lot of them. I got to be in an abandoned mall. For a while with uh, a couple friends and film some bizarre shit that was fun there are a lot of good games a lot of memes and streams uh we had the revival of mr dink and now now we can go to the top of the fucking building and watch some fireworks All right, let's see if I can find some. Hmm. This will probably do. Wow, it's like they're really there. <laughs> the 
This is awful. <laughs> These are the worst fireworks ever. I'm looking for more. I'm going to add more to the scene, but there's, there's, oh, oh God, these are even worse. They're doing a cover of Imagine it in Times Square. Go stop them. Remember when the celebrities did Imagine and the donkey was by the pool? That was really cool. Inspiring. This one's got music. Ugh. There you go, chat. We got fireworks in the building now. Wow. What a great New Year's this is. Wait, no, what are you doing here? Get out of here, asshole. No, get out of here. Go. No, go. It's Christmas is over. Jesus. <laughs> Gotta like and subscribe for more fireworks now. <laughs> That's okay, chat. This is fun. No, we're we're having a good time. And uh you know what? It's been a good year and I appreciate everything you've done for me here on the stream and we're going to find more worlds and it's going to be fun and then I have a game called Y2K which is about New Year's Eve in 1999. So it's going to be, it's going to be cool, but, um, you know, we do actually, you know, what's funny. I actually do have a little special something for new year's. Just a little special something from some, some fellas. And, uh, just to show you how, you know, good this holiday is. It's a great holiday. Happy New Year's, everyone. Wow, we did it. Oh, that's not corruption stockpile. We did it. Another year, chat. Another year. Could you believe it? Check this out. Wow. Actual real fireworks. With wonderful DMCA music. You know, it's funny because I type New Year's music. New Year's 
Eve music and I got a bunch of live fireworks and it like DJs playing copyright music. Um, what's the New Year's song? Isn't there a song? Old Lang's Eye? Who, who's Old Lang? All right, chat. Well, this has been an amazing New Year's. We got to watch some fireworks. Me, you, uh, the skeleton guy in a, a dead game that hasn't existed, you know, officially, at least officially, in almost a decade. It's really cool. All right, now we change into the ceremonial clothing. Let's get into the clothing. There we go. Wonderful. Be sure to like and subscribe, as the channel said, but not to me, but to the fireworks. And that's, that's New Year's, everybody. We made it another year. So here's to a good 2024 on the stream. That's probably copyright. Okay, so now we can just kind of look around. Finally back to a year divisible by two. That's really all that matters. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Uh, I don't know. I guess age another year. Oh, you mean in the game? Um, I don't know. I wanted to sit on Santa's lap, but I can't do that. I'm just going to find some more worlds with interesting names. And then we'll play a um, an old point and click about the fear of Y2K. I actually do remember Y2K being a, like a terrifying concept. And I remember thinking from 1999 to 2000, I was like, is this it? This is probably it, right? It's over. It wasn't over. And then I went on my computer and I was like, oh. It turns out it didn't blow up. But that was definitely something that was a fear, and apparently there was a game made about that. It was a prank. It was just a prank. It was a profitable prank because they sold like Y2K DVDs. They sold Y2K things. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, what are we doing here?
It wasn't over because a lot of people put in the hard work. They they carried over the decimal, yeah. It's the battle bus from Fortnite? No, that's the bang bus. See, chat, this is where the real... It wasn't exactly a prank. I know. It wasn't a prank. I remember it actually being something to fear. People genuinely thought there was going to be problems. I'm just joking around when I say it was just a prank. But after it was over, it seemed real silly in retrospect. But um, let's see what that game ends up doing. I wanted to... Maybe we could dance. I might grab like a... I have like a beer. I can grab a beer, like a, a New Year's beer. That would be crazy. My amaretto is gone, by the way. I finished it last time I streamed uh, Link to the Past, the, well, the day one. So that's gone. So I have to, like, grab a New Year's beer to celebrate. I don't even like beer, but I'll do it for you, chat. Here, let's go to the bowling alley. Wait, where is it going? Indy Park. Oh, <laughs> we made it back to Indy Park. Is that? Great view. That's also a VOD mute, but that's a baby singing. How do babies copyright their mu mu music? I don't get it. Right, fine, maybe not bowling. Street Fighter X Tekken. I mean, yeah, there's just, again, I'm here to, again, explore the worlds. I just want to see all the strange places or the, the I mean, it's not as unsettling as um, worlds.com or active worlds or any of those old places like that. This is just like really well done advertisements. Oh, goddess, Egyptian goddess. Ooh. I should probably stop doing the mankini, right? I'm thinking we probably don't need the mankini anymore. I could just be a statue. Okay, well, watch this for a second, and I'm going to grab the beer. And the first drink of 2024 is a Corona, because that's what I had. I, I got these like four months ago, and I still haven't drank them. That's what I have. <laughs> I don't have anything else. <laughs> it's not Moldello, at least. The problem is I don't really drink, so I end up like hanging on to beer, and they get moldy and old. But, you know... I don't have champagne or anything, Chad. I don't really, uh, I don't prepare for these kinds of things. And um, truth be told, almost none of my friends are doing anything for New Year's this year. This is just one of those collective we don't give a shit years.
No, that's classy. That is, we're just bringing a touch of class to the stream. Just sing Imagine, and it'll, okay, all right. Um, imagine there's no horses. It's easy if you try. Maybe I should sing it with, like, indie bananis, like, kind of approach. Imagine there's no heaven. No? What, but don't you believe me more when I sing like that? Because it's real indie. It's like salt of the earth. <laughs> Is that Creed? Ah, oh, shit. Anyway, let me go and do something very American here on this New Year's. And let me go to the Red Bull Hub. Man, I could use me a Red Bull right now. Remember when uh, Red Bull vodka was the like popular drink? Maybe some of you don't. But Red Bull vodka was like a big drink for a while, and it was leading people's like hearts into explosions. I might be exaggerating just a little bit. Oh, another quick thing is I'd like to let you know that Steamboat Willie, Willie, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon, is now public domain, officially. Just to let you know, this is public domain. So we can chill here in the Red Bull world and watch some um, advertisements while we watch that. Wow. We're watching TV within TV. It is really the future. Was Red Bull just doing jackass stunts? It's like, what are they doing? We definitely They're just building like failures. Wait, it, was that what I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Diapers. What do you mean diapers? Oh, it truly is a New Year's miracle, chat. Wow. They just build people's faces and then try to make them fly. They don't fly and they inevitably like fail and crash into the ocean. And that's what they're doing to promote their terrible tasting energy drink that gives you heart palpitations. Happy New Year's. Oh, there's the Red Bull Bang Bus. I mean, hey, at least it's entertaining to watch. And I'm not talking about Steamboat Willie. Because I haven't watched it. <laughs> so we saw Red Bull. We've been... Oh, there's the air race. We can go there and do an air race right now. Um, that was it. I don't know if there's more Steamboat Willie, but that is officially in public domain now. So, you know, ain't nothing Disney can do about that. It'll probably still get fucking claimed. Now we own this. 
We own this. Kirby Chambliss. Haynes Arch. Is the other plane going to be Bobson Dugnut? Oh, never mind. Oh, it's like pilot wings. Vinny, I think it got auto DMCA'd. I couldn't clip it. I guess we'll find out. Johnny, I'm sorry to do this to you, but if that does get claimed, can you please put um, something? I don't know what it would be. But yeah, of, of course. I mean, it's only been 2024 for 17 minutes, so maybe they got to update their systems to make it public domain. They'll do it. No, 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 they'll do it. I trust Disney. <laughs> I trust them. Holy shit. Ratchet and Clank. Let's check out a couple more worlds because I did find this to be a very fascinating segment. I like exploring these old dead worlds. Even if there is still... I know there's interest in this. And like I said, thank you to, to those who have put the effort into preserving this. That is something that is invaluable in a time when people just nuke old video games or like online services. So I like that this exists for me to just explore. And I think exploring it alone makes it even more interesting. At least for me, it does. It's still 2023 in Disney's Cali HQ. Yeah, but do you think even as soon as it turns 2024 there, they're going to like like put the, the word out? Like, all right, remove it from the system. This belongs to the people. They earned it. It's only been a hundred years. PlayStation Move backstage event. Pixel junk exhibition. Ooblag's alien casino. Whoa. Oh, this is awesome. There's aliens here, like actual cool aliens. Yeah, let me just uh, get off of this weird horse. I guess this will do. Siren world is best area. Okay. So what'd you do on New Year's, Ben? Oh, you know, I was wearing a mankini and hanging out with a bunch of aliens. No big deal. A lot of my friends are actually sick right now, too, which is, um, that sounds about right for this time of year. Yeah. Stomach bugs, whatever it may be. Maybe they're down with the sickness, but it definitely isn't fun. Um, and it, it is just kind of, you know, the holidays getting people together, a.k.a. getting people sick. I wasn't feeling the best a couple of days ago, but, you know, I'm here now at Ooblog's Casino and I feel a lot better. What was the world siren? I know a streamer that recently came down with a bad case of Ithalid mind tadpole. Yeah, you got to be careful about those mind tadpoles. I get that reference, by the way. It's like sperms, right? Like tadpoles. Siren Lounge.
Oh, this is interesting. All right, we got some spooks. But before we do that, some some of the spookies, we can do, um, probably don't want to be abducted. It's going to run. Huh? Siren as a series was directed by the Silent Hill 1 director. Oh, look at that. You even get a flashlight. Okay, then in that case, I don't want the run item. I want instead crutches. <laughs> what did you do New Year's Eve? I was just on crutches going through a spooky haunted house. This activity is currently unavailable. Yeah, there's there's not much you can do here, I don't think. It would have been fine if it was just like something that you could just look around. I think you need to give it a second. Nope. All right, moving on. Slap Happy Sam's stage show. Nope. What is the sight of, of a stone man in crutches? <laughs> it's just insane. This is an insane New Year's Eve. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh my God. All right. Uh, two more worlds, maybe two or three more, right? That'll be enough. I just, I wanted to get a good feel for what all these, what all this stuff was about. And, uh, you know, it's definitely what I expected in a lot of ways. Wait, hang on a minute. Can you, hang on, can you dance in crutches? <laughs> Not really. It's a miracle. Only through the power of dance. Oh. Oh. Namco Theater Enrage. A place to socialize and purchase quality items from top brands such as Atticus. Oh, this is where you get the Terminator stuff for some reason. It's weird that ter of all things, Terminator 2 is in this game. That means that they probably had to, like, contact Robert Patrick and Arnold and um, Sarah Connor. Uh, what's her name? I know her name. Oh, my God. How, how could I forget? Well, Linda Hamilton. And they're like, hey, can we, we put you in a video game? 
there's a paycheck involved. Vinny, why did you choose to spend your New Year's Eve like this? What What do you mean? Like what? Like on crutches in a dead world that's trying to advertise product to me? Like, what do you mean? Like what? <laughs> like explain what you mean specifically. Because I'm having a great time. <laughs> Oh, man, I got to get to the VIP area. Shit. Right, that one kind of sucked. Moon Forest Open. Played this back in 2009, and the vibe was always really weird from the people here. You, you're talking about in that world specifically? Wait, chat. Hang on a minute. I want to try something here because we're we're the stone guy, but couldn't we be um, Street Fighters Ryu on crutches? <laughs> yes, we can. I'm so sorry, Ryu. I didn't. I don't know why this is possible, but it's possible. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. Ken is just too powerful these days. There's Snake from Fortnite also. Oh shit, Snake from Fortnite is in this game. There's a Hadouken. I mean, this could be a Street Fighter map. Like, this, you could fight here. You know, if Ryu was up to it. I don't think he's up to it. Poor guy. your wife and you can ride me and I will take you to my place. We will fight an honorable fight for you. Your leg may be broken but I I shall take you where you need to go. Men in Black Headquarters. Okay, so Ryu on a gorilla in Men in Black headquarters. Why not? High effort. Very high effort. Wow. Really sparing no expense to promote this. Just, just like the movie. Oh, isn't this the um, the the device that you sit on it and you suck it at the same time and it provides infinite energy? I remember that Randy Marsh was on that thing, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I remember that. Magic: The Gathering.
I mean, this is kind of addictive to just explore these, like all these worlds. There's so many, so many of them. It's like too many, honestly. It's God. Every time I see one of these balloon people. Oh, it's a lethal company. I'm going to do it, chat. I'm going to do it. Oh, man. Oh, it's it's awful. Let's see what other strange things. Want. Oh, oh, it's the device. I think General Grievous was in one of these fucking things, too. Man, the magic is surely gathering here. He's a cool dude. Let me ride my jabroni device around here like a fucking badass. Yeah. Space station. Loot. Hollywood Hills nighttime estate. I wonder if anyone is in the Hollywood Hills right now. Like, I wonder if there's any particularly, like, like maybe there's a giant celebrity watching right now, like uh, Scrooge. Scrooge is watching from their Hollywood Hills estate, about to see the fireworks just in the city, like just over there, just like that. Douglas, oh yeah, Douglas and Scrooge are the two biggest, <laughs> biggest celebrities in pop right now. Vinny, your stream is on display in Times Square right now. Please say hi. Wait, what? I don't believe you, but if that's true, then please, maybe you spent money on that. Uh, if that's true, and I don't believe you for a second, I need to do something very important. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Almost, almost. I hope it's still on. Okay, cool. They took it off? Oh, man. That's a shame. All right, let's navigate uh, to Loco Roco Island. I mean, I considered actually paying some money to get Grey Leno on Times Square for a short time just because I thought it would be awful. Because you can do that, and it's actually somewhat affordable for what you think it is, like if you just get like a small little screen in Times Square. Vinny, you got hands for feet. Yes. I mean, what? Alright chat, I think that'll be enough of this. So this is, um, yeah, this is something. Uh, Happy New Year from this game here for some reason. I don't, you know, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, we, we'll move on to the next game now.
but that is PlayStation Home. It was certainly an experience. It's already 2024. I don't know how this happened. I really don't. But we're in the future. Are, do we have flying cars yet? We do. Excellent. 